day dudes. We're doing darts and stuff. Yeah. It's been a while. I just, I haven't had that much time to work on the car really. I'm keen to get started again. I've actually done a few things like I didn't film. You'll see that in a bit. I've, I've done some more, more interior work, more stripping. My garage is seriously fucked. It's leaking from the bottom. This rain has been savage and there's just puddles there now. That's what it looks like right now. I got the steering wheel off, that was a pain in the ass. And then lights are out. I actually filmed a little bit of doing the lights out, I think. Did I? If I did, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in now. I'm tacking the, uh, the tail lights. And I've just got this left one out. I'm dressed like this because when I opened the garage door there was a lot of spiders, so I'm kind of just like trying to protect myself. I'm even like tucked into my socks as well. <laughs> These are just finger tight. This is so fiddly. Hey. This bumper thing needs to come off, but it's spot welded on, so I need to drill them out and then drop the fuel tank to get these bumper supports off. And then the back end is going to start looking pretty tidy. Another thing as well, so I need to get these doors off, but you have to open the door all the way to get to the bolts. And I don't have space to open the doors unless you go out of my drive. So, no steering wheel, no seats, flat tyres. At some point, we're gonna to have to roll this out of the drive and get the doors off. We're lit. Nate's gonna be in a minute. He's bought his uh, blowtorch, and we're gonna try and take the heat approach to this sound deadening rather than the cold approach. This may be a huge error, <laughs> but I got brake cleaner and a lot of wide drill bits. Got some actual chisels this time, rather than just using a screwdriver. So this is gonna be easier. Uh, we got Nate. Yo. Oi, oi. How's it going? Blowtorch method works a treat. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Wow. I just tried a little little sample patch, and that literally took like what two seconds? Yeah, didn't take long, did it? The shit stinks. It smells well. It's just tar, isn't it? Yeah, literally just the worst possible chemicals to be breathing in. It's like a fucking orange pill, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got most of that off on this panel. So we're just going to take a wire brush. Things that you could have related to, and you related to chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> they just smell a bit nutty. Just like, look at it all. How sweet is that gonna be? I don't reckon it will be that sweet. Bingo. Hold on, watch that washer. So, this is where we're at. This whole panel, this bit's done. And this top section's done. It's just that, well, that bit there, where that seat belt was. Ooh, Harry Bow. Why does the seat belt, it's not just been like, completely retarded. Yeah. But why does the seat belt got wires put into it? Probably a ground. <laughs> this is Nate's comfy position. You could happily just... <laughs> just as a little reminder that the dead bird is still right by your head. Fuck off is it? It's literally done. Fuck there. off is it? <laughs> There's a fucking dead bird! Oh, there fucking is as well, you fucking sick <laughs> bastard. Do you want to deal with that now? It's like, nah, I'd rather do this. Yeah, I'd rather get the fuck out. <laughs>
it's it's not great. <laughs> no, but but it's not bad. I'll just cut that patch out as well then. And that patch. And that patch. It's like the drainage plug was in the wrong place. Yeah, literally. We're gonna call it a night because it's like midnight now. It's been productive. Yeah, it's been productive. So that's what the end goal is. I'm probably I'll do some more stuff. So I'll see you guys in a sec. But safe, Nate. See you later. <laughs> yep. So new day. A man bun now. I'm well excited because I ordered a tool cabinet. A few weeks ago and it's finally arrived today, so I'm just gonna go pick it up now. It's bright yellow, but I did quite a bit of research on these tool chests and for my budget I think this one was the best. Let's go get this and then we'll come back here and we'll start that some stuff. Yeah, nice one, cheers. cheers. Sorted. He was a nice guy. Right, let's go back over and get my tools in my tool chest! My tools have been scattered around for literally like months, years. So now I'll, they have a home. I'll run through what um, what toolbox I got when I get it home and get it unboxed and that. So it's pricked in. Need a prick. So yeah, now I just need to build my uh, my tool collection. If anyone has any like recommendations of tools stuff that would be handy, let me know. That's what it's like parking in my driveway. We got bottom stack. Seven draw bottom stack and a nine draw top stack. Yep. So that's it. That's the top stack. Stoked on that. There's like a Clark HD Pro range, and this is identical spec, except it's called this, and it's yellow. That's literally the only difference. Overall, for the two of them, it was like 70 quid cheaper than the others, just because it's yellow. But it's still got like the the ball bearing drawers and reinforced size, good wheels, good handles. Each drawer holds 43 kilos, which is pretty legit. All right, let's get this bottom stack out. I don't know where I'm going to put these though, because they are not fitting in my garage. Yo, look at these sweet rims. That wheel swag. Yeah. Got my garage clothes on, got my knee pads on so I can kneel down. Got music going. And I'm gonna sit in here and keep on cracking with this. It's such a long process. This is why I've got a top knot now. Look how fucking long that is. I kind of got bored of my hair, so I just decided to grow the top out. And now it just like kind of fucks me off and gets in my eyes if I don't put it back here, so. Comment if you think I suit a man bun or if you think I should shave it off and burn it with fire. Twenty will do. <laughs> Do. Yes. This is sick. Look at it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's me with a cup of tea. What are you all? If you start crashing into the walls, stop filming, yeah? No, don't stop filming. Oh, okay. Just shout. 
Well, if something bad happens, I think we'll have to Alright. Yep. Woo! Shoe came off. <laughs> Stop! No! <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Wait, I'm gonna show him from the back. Cute. You can see his future self. That's why I love Arizona cars. <laughs> I've got like the tiniest spanner ever on a door bolt. Loose. Cool. Ooh. Woo! Sick. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, nice. Hi guys. Hi. What's your name? My name's Leo. My name's Shay. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I know. You're getting comes off Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Is that a cool one? That's Amazon. All the whips. <laughs> Every single one has a BQR button on it now. Right, make sure yeah. you're proper. Straight. And again. Get ready with the hand right, yeah? Yeah. Alright. The Datsun's in. I've developed sweat. That was hard work. Especially with no wing mirrors. And a very skinny garage. So yeah, it's just kind of a lot easier to, to get in and out and do stuff now. Like I can just sit down here and get to this bit real easy rather than having to go inside the car. Put you back in safety. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of the surface rust on these so it doesn't spread. Much better. Let's do this little bastard. They look a lot better. The rust has obviously started eating away a little bit at the surface, so I need to get something to neutralize it. Any rust advice, hit me up in the comments. Just gotta do the second door, and then we'll work out what we're doing next. Kill. Pretty kill. Both doors, done. All right guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night with this video. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, cheers for watching. Let me know if you like the Datsun videos. I'm sorry progress is a bit slow, but we'll get there. Now I've got my toolbox, I feel like I can start actually being organized and get started quicker and that means I can do more. So we'll see. Um, and I'm kind of like, I feel like I've got a bit of momentum. So basically plans from now, the dash has got to come out and it is looking very sorry for itself. Look. I got three options. So option one, dash covers. Um, and they're like this cheap faux plastic. They're like $130. But I don't really want to do that because I'll just know that that shit is behind it. And it'll bother me. But that's the, probably the cheapest option or the easiest option. And then second is buy a replica dash. But they're very expensive. Or the third option is take the dash out, fill everything. <laughs> fill all the cracks, fill all the broken vinyl, and then flock it maybe. That's probably looking most likely. Let me know what you guys think. Or if anyone's got any experience of doing dashes. <sighs> I, oh, it's hair. Having long hair is it's hard work, I tell you. All right, nice one guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Thank you. Oh, that light's broken. Bye.